According to surveys by www.thelab.tv, 63% of teenage girls now want to be glamour models, looking to the likes of Jordan and Abby Titmus as role models. The increasing use of Facebook and MySpace is turning girls' nights out on the town into glamour shoots of their own. But how many girls would bear it all for the cash? So we hit the streets of Southampton to find out just what you think. Basically, um, increasing amount of teenage girls such as yourself are wanting to be glamour models and are being sort of pressured by the media. So you see pictures of girls about that skinny. Yeah. Um, are you affected by that? Does it make you sort of want to eat less and be skinnier and dress? Yeah, it makes you want to be skinnier. Yeah. Yeah? Makes you aware of it. Yeah. 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 A little bit. Well, do you care about it? No. No? Just eat all day long? Yeah. Don't nuts. Yeah, eat with yeah. How I want to be. Yeah. Me. So you don't think anything's influenced? It's nice to look nice and stuff, but you don't want to go out and like, look nice. Yeah. yeah. But you don't. Like, follow do the trends, but don't like go on a exit. Go on a exit. Good. Who's on the inside? Who's on the inside? Yeah. yeah. People like Abby Titmus, Abby Titmus and Jordan, they they look trampy. Mm. Like Jordan, yeah, she's made money out of her like out of, like selling photos of her body and that. But it's not exactly a good role model, is it? For what people should aim to be, what their kids, like, what parents yeah. want their kids to look like. Hold it now, wait, hold it. So we were wondering, say we said we had 500, 600 quid, and we got a private studio for an underwear zoo type glamour model thing. Would you do it? Would you do it? No? Yeah, I would. You I don't would. care what I look like. Yeah? 500 quid? What about 300 quid? Yeah. 200? Yeah. 100? Probably. Would you do it for 500 pounds? No. No? <laughs> so I'd be scared of what my mum would say. Yeah. Yeah. Or would your mum would never find nah, out? No, I wouldn't do it. I would be How much to money? A lot of money. It would take a lot to yeah. do it. Do you reckon you'd ever do it when you're older? If I was confident enough to do it. Yeah. Yeah? If it was an underwear, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, do what? Would you, would you do a glamour shoot? I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. How much would it take for you to do a underwear glamour shoot? A lot. Five hundred pounds. No. No. What about you? Possibly. Possibly. Six hundred. No. Yeah, I probably would. Probably just be just be underwear. Maybe. Not. <laughs> No, probably. Would you? Yeah. yeah. How much money would it take for you to do it? Don't know. A fair bit. A fair bit. Name, yeah. Name and price. Pardon? Name and price. I don't know. I don't know. I would have to think about it. But you'd do it for know. 500. Probably. I'd have We've to got 500 in the bank? Yeah, If we said we had 500 pounds yeah. in a private studio for an underwear shoot, yeah. would you do it? No. 600? No. 700? No. 800? No. Grand? No. I, just, I, I wouldn't want photos of that out. Like, I wouldn't want people to see me like that. But is that to do with issues of yourself or the principles behind it? Um, probably a bit of both, mm. to be honest. Because I wouldn't okay. want people to be oh, like, having a wank over pictures of me in my underwear. <laughs> and also, I don't really want to be poncing around in front of a camera Okay. in a thong. Nice answer. Thank you. Nice answer. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now it seemed to me as if the girls who did agree to a photo shoot and the ones who respected the likes of Jordan didn't really think about whether there was actually any talent behind what they're doing. Joe Guest, a popular glamour model of recent times, suffered from a freak illness where uh, her physical condition sort of diminished. Talking here on this morning, 
Turkey Turks of how our whole life was turned upside down. So how did it begin to show itself? And you'd always been healthy before that. There'd never been any no. issues with your health beforehand. No. So when did, when did this start to show itself and how? Um, I first noted bloating around my stomach. Um, I was doing a job and a dress that I'd worn for ages, it just started feeling a bit tight. And then some boots that I was wearing, my calves had started to swell up as well. To stand up, but I'll show you my belly. I mean, this is what, it gets bigger and bigger throughout the day, until I look almost like four months pregnant. That's extraordinary, isn't it? My calves are the same, they're, they're a lot bigger than what they were. And so, and you're, and, and, and you're having to sell possessions now. <laughs> Yes. Um, and, and what about your flat, what about your flat? Are you having to I, move out of that as well? Yeah, I put my flat on the market about six months ago. It's, it's, I wish it had sold by now, mm. but it hasn't. Oh. Now stats would suggest the increasing pressure on young women to look good has taken its toll. 90% of bulimia cases were female. 30% of those being readmitted within three months, and that was just last year. These alarming figures surely suggest that what men want is skinny. But is that really the case, boys? So we're wondering, what is your perfect looking woman? Is it what you see in the likes of Zoo and Nuts and Page 3? Uh, not really, it's just somebody I like really. Um, just like the look of it could be anything. I haven't really got preference to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't got, you know, I like blonde. Big breasts. No, breasts. not at no. all. You just literally whoever comes across, comes across me, really. <laughs> Whatever yeah. you can get. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Hair. That's it. Hair is the most important thing to you. Yeah. What about you? Uh, Hair. Anything. Tits. Ass. <laughs> what is it? Uh, this guy from the ass. <laughs> ass. Yeah. Um. Slim, brunette hair. Not too big. Big tits. Not too big tits. What size? Yeah. Naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What she look like naked though? Big, small. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it with a deck hand, but yeah. Um, curvy. Curvy. So you don't like the skinny women that you'd see in magazines? We're first sound a bit curvier. I think she's gotta have um, blonde hair, big eyes, big blue eyes. She's got to be alert. She's got to be able to communicate. She's got to have a bigger tits. <laughs> I did that for the camera. First thing first, you notice um, their looks. And then when you obviously get to know them, it comes from the inside, so their personality and stuff. Is, it, is there any like particular things you look like? Brunette, blonde? Um, not physical characteristics. Obviously, um, big boob size would like obviously help sexiness and stuff um, and nice ass on my ass, on my ass man anyway so that always goes oh now it seems to me after talking to so many different people and so many different outfits there was a mixed response but the majority of young women do feel pressure from the media to look skinny but not all of them and no, it's not necessarily what men want. A lot of blokes said they prefer a curvier figure. Either way, if you do have big tits and blonde hair, you're not nearly halfway there. Oh yeah? We, do we go for a drink later? See, when I was 20, if it had a pulse, I had to find out if I could get my leg over it. And lots of women. Lots of women, but it was silly. I said, you've got to remember one thing, and this goes out to everybody. Throw a penny in first to see if it turns green. If it doesn't, leap on board. You know, bash you around the back of the head, yeah, without any problem at all. I was the man. I ran the beach because it was too easy, yeah. yeah. I could leap in bed with any woman I wanted to, it seemed to me, and, and it wasn't right, so I left. Uh, that, are you, are you, I, I think you're sleeping with that man. I, I said, what? What do you mean you sleep with him? I said, I don't sleep with men, I don't like that so it doesn't really hit my buttons at all about what's in the head it's what's in the heart it's what's in the soul and if you can see those things that's how you get a, su a successful relationship which will make make a difference to your life so there i would much rather meet a woman in dungarees know that she's got a fit body underneath the dungaree and no pants on <laughs> and 